In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do the technical documentation page project for the responsive web design curriculum in Free Code Camp. So let's get right into it. All right. So the first thing is that we're going to do the test. So as you can see right here, you should have a main element with an ID of main doc. So we're going to have a main element right here. And then we're going to go main doc. Boom. Control center and run the test. There you go. That's one. Next one is that you should have at least five section elements with a class of main section. So we're gonna go section right here. Section. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to highlight it right here. And then I'm going to press um, shift, alt, turn in the down arrow key. One, two, three, four times. So that's a, give us five right there. Enter, good. That's the next test. Then all of your main section elements should be section elements. Oh yeah, so class equal main section two, three, four. Remember, in order to, to highlight it and then shift alt and then the down arrow key once, two, three, four. Good. And then it completes the summatives. You should have at least five main section elements that are descendants of main doc. The first child of each main doc should be a header header element. We're gonna go over here, adding a header element. Just gonna add a header element to each of them. Boom, right there. So if you run the test, there you go, header. One of your header elements should be empty. All right, so that means we'll just add something. So at this one, it's introduction. All right, so I did all of that right here. Control enter, and there you go. All of your main section elements should have an ID, and then each main section should have an ID that matches the text of his first child. Having any spaces in the child's text replaced with underscores. Here's how you do that now. So, what you have to do is that for the ID, it has to match this right here. It has to match. So we have to make an introduction. And then the ID for this, sorry, we should add it as we should already know. Right here. And then this ID, Alright, so that should work, I think. Yep, there we go, that works. Alright, next test is you should have at least 10 P elements. Within each of them, you have to have a paragraph section, so. We have five, which means that all we need to do, so all we have to do is this, inside of header, we're just gonna add two paragraph elements each, like that. We're going to cut them, continue. So in the header, bam, so if you do that now, it's completed, and then you should have at least five code elements. So that'll be like, code. You just have to put it in five elements, so let's put it in, let's put it in hello world, one, two, three, four, and that should work, there we go, you should have at least five li elements that are descendants of main section elements here, and then I'm going to copy, paste in each, and if we run that, there we go, the next one, you should have a nav element with an ID of navbar that'll be at the top right here. And then ID of navbar. There you go. Your navbar should have exactly one header element right up. So header control into. Okay. okay, I don't know why that's working because I have ID navbar. Oh, that's why not, oh my god, that's embarrassing. Let me see, there we go, oh my god. You should have at least one element. Show this one anchor element in the class of nav link. And there we go, so control in, control into. There we go. All of your nav link elements should be anchor and all of your nav link elements should be in the nav bar. 
Yep. Good. You should have the, the same number of nothing and mean six on elements. Alright, so that'll be five. So again, shift alt and then the down 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 arrow key four times. One, two, three, four. And that should work. And yeah, there you go. The hit there element in an alpha bar should come before any link. Last three now. Or last two actually. Each nav link should have text that corresponds to the header text of its related section. Example, if you have hello world section, your nav bar should have a nav link which is hello world. Alright, so that will be introduction. So that will just be basically copying the header. So you can just copy the header. All like that. And then control into. Alright, one more now. So each nav link should have an href attribute that links to its corresponding main section. Example, if you click on a nav link element that contains the text hello world page now gets to a section to a section element with that ID. Alright, so that basically means that um the href should come here. So all you have to do is copy the ID that you have. But before you do that, put in the hashtag or number sign and then afterwards introduction and then what you should already know and then and that should do it there we go so it's completed so you can submit and go to the next challenge but all right let's go back and as you can see this is what it will look like for now but like i said we did it just to pass the test so what about actually doing this so what you guys can do is that you can actually go to my github in the description and you'll actually get all of the source code it's 400 lines for the html but for the css it's actually see there you go there's the css right down there so what i'm actually going to do i'm actually going to go through it with you guys so yeah let me go through it all right here's the full project when it's done basically as you can see i did my own twist like a uh, scroll behavior and whatnot so right, let me quickly go through it particularly how it's new usually done so in the project um as you can see there's lots of lines of code also because of the main document but here on the nav bar you have nav bar and then the header element and then you have all of the links right here and then here's the main doc that we did with each section so the section will basically be like introduction so this would be one section and then this would be another section right down here and that's what you're going to do you're going to be creating a lot of sections if you're building the full thing that is if you are building the full thing if it's just the testing you don't have to do this but i'd recommend you know for practice reasons to do the whole entire thing because that's how you get that's how you become a better developer so that's what i did right here header and then article and then a paragraph tag right there with a bunch of paragraphs it gives you me the paragraphs right here and then down here as well like hello world which i'll go into so hello world you have a function and whatnot that's where the code will be in so that's where you add code and whatnot and uh in the project it said that you need at least like what five code tags in each project or sorry five code tags total well you want to be adding a lot so then i have like one right here you add one right here and then the next one two three four five six so we're going to be adding a lot probably more than 10 probably around 10 or 12 so yeah that's how it works and then the nav bar is basically this thing right here it's a sidebar so yeah all right and then the css is actually small css is only nine six lines and you know the simple box sizing border box no margin no padding sun surf for the font the color this is it so this is for um basically the text like the paragraph and the nav bar 
that's really it then for the general CSS all this by the way is in the github so if you want to copy it then that's fine or if you want to look into it then that's fine the color for the header is black all headers then the code is that's the background which is f7 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 15 pack sorry 15 pixel padding and then line height of 2 and all of that same thing with nav bar the position is fixed so that way it stays there and then the nav bar header right it's sticky so that way um when you scroll down it actually stays and top zero and then it's center aligned white background 20 pixels of padding and then the font size is 2 em and yeah you guys can just go through it and yeah pick apart the css you know switch it up and see how it affects the program but yeah that's really it that's how you do the technical documentation project in free code camp so hopefully this was helpful and again check out the github in the description and yeah peace out